Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at natural uh, understanding, or Lewis or Luis, <laughs> depends on how you'd like to say it. And this is a no-code ML service to build language, uh, natural language into apps, bots, and IoT devices. So quickly create enterprise-ready custom models that continuously improve. So Lewis, I'm gonna just call it Lewis because that's what I prefer, is accessed via its own isolate domain at lewis.ai. And it utilizes NLP and NLU. So NLU is the ability to perform uh, or ability to transform a linguistic statement to a representation that enables you to understand your users naturally. And it is intended to focus on intention and extraction. Okay, so where the users want, or sorry, what the users want and what the users are talking about. So uh, the Lewis application is composed of a schema and the schema is auto-generated for you when you use the Lewis AI web interface. So you definitely aren't gonna be writing this by hand, but it just helps to see what's kind of in there. If you do have some programmatic skills, you obviously you can make better use of the service than just the web interface. But the schema defines intention, so what the users are asking for. A Lewis app always contains a none intent. We'll talk about why that is in a moment. And entities what parts of the intent is used to determine the answer. Then you also have utterances, so examples of the user input that includes intent and entities to train the ML model to match predictions against the real user input. So an intent requires one or more example utterance for training, and it is recommended to have 15 to 30 example utterances. To explicitly train uh, to ignore an utterance, you use the none intent. So. Intent classifies user utterances and entities extract data from utterances. So hopefully that understands. I always get this stuff mixed up. It always takes me a bit of time to understand. There is more than just these things. There's like features and other things, but you know, for the AI 900, we don't need to go that deep, okay? Uh, just let's get to visualizing this to make it a bit easier. So imagine we have this uh, this utterance here. These would be the identities. So we have two in Toronto. This is the example utterance. And then the idea is that you'd have the intent. And the intent, and if you look at this keyword here, this really helps where it says classify. It's, that's what it is. It's a classification of this example utterance. And that's how the ML model is going to learn, okay?